Field level security is uh, the additional level of being able to control sparse objects, being forms or pages, individual fields, or even the actions or buttons uh, on the NAV client. It's all based on uh, having code added. The code is ad added automatically, um, and it um, is a one-time installation process. You can control it to edit, view, and hide. And as you see here, I'm going to create some new field-level security codes. I mean, uh, NAV with uh, easy security is installed in here. As I ran the install, uh, I have selected certain tables in here that are available with these uh, advanced features of uh, security in here. I want to take a look first at the customer in here. And as I go in and look at the customer, I can see that the list have all the menu items. If I go to an individual uh, customer, there is no difference. Everything looks completely normal in here. I can access all buttons and I can change every field in here, also on the invoicing tab in here. For field level security, uh, we have a separate setup for security. You can be super user or you can have very limited permissions in NAV. We actually are going to apply the field level security on top of it in here. We also set it up by user um, and only by table. So it's a simplified setup. You don't have multiple ways of getting access to the same thing. You only have one access in a table. We allow the blank user ID, and as I enter the blank user ID in here, I get the field level security read-only. Read-only is a code we actually create automatically in here as we initially uh, go in and add this one. I added this one for the sales header, but I'll go in here and add the customer table, and again, the read-only is available in here. By leaving the user ID blank, we don't have to specify every user in the system. We only specify the one that are different from the default in here. So if I now go back, look at my list of customers, I'll see that my menu items gray out. I can't click on anything any longer up here. It's all locked down for me um, because it's all read-only. If I open a single customer, I can see that every field in here is read-only also. I want to create a code where basically every page in here is uh, read-only, except the customer card, and then I only want to be able to add uh, or change some of the address fields in here. So let's go back to field level security in here and look at the field level security code for each table you have these different field level security codes in here. So I want to create a new one. It's for the customer table, and I will call it uh, address only in here. It asks to copy permission from the default. The default is the read only one, and since I'm going to do a very limited one, it's a good idea to copy from the default. If you're only going to lock down one or two pages for people, you probably don't want to copy from the default in here. But the same way as uh, where with the user I left the user ID blank, we now have page zero being view, locked down so people can't change anything any longer on it. It's only read only. I can also look at the details and I will see that actions, that is the menu items, every menu item on here is set to view in here. I could add fields and I could set the permission out here to editable, but since I left the page in view mode, I can't really turn the fields on again. So I need to actually have the page be editable and then I can control the fields with view. I would only be able to hide the fields uh, in this case in here. So to control the customer card, I want to add a new page in here, page 21, the customer card. I want to leave it editable so I can actually then control the fields in here. I can add fields one at a time in here, so I can change the name, for example. But I can also add uh, multiple fields in here. 
So I can go in and say I want my address, my city, my contacts, and go down here maybe and find some of them, postcode and county down here, and add all those ones in here. So at this time, I'm adding six fields in here. These fields are the one I want to leave editable, but I really need to define the default because the page is self-editable. So the same way as I did before, I will insert a new record here. I want to leave the field blank and I want every field to be view in here. So as I now add it view to all fields, I only have a list of fields that should be editable in here. So I now have two pages defined in here and I need to apply this to my user in here. So same way as I did before, I'll go to the user security setup. I want to create a new record in here because now I want to make an exception for my user in here to have more permissions than the read only. So it selected the default because of the check mark, but I'm going to select the address only out here. As I now go back to my list of customers, the list didn't change because I didn't make any difference on that page, but I can see in here my name and address uh, and my contact information is actually now editable. Everything else on the page is read only in here. Maybe I don't want this user to actually see the balance in here. Um, and the same case, I left all my actions editable up here, so I can actually click on statistics up here. Um, same goes for apply template and so on. I want to gray out my statistics button and get rid of the apply template up here. Plus, I want to get rid of the balance field and the credit limit in here. So let's go back to the field level security code I was working on. It's the one here for address only. It's still on the customer card, so I'll look at the details for that one. And I used the fields before. What I want to do now is look at the actions. And again, I want to define the default. What should be my default for my actions? Should it be edit, view, or hide in here? I only wanted to remove a few of them, so I probably don't want the default anyway in here. So let me go in here and say that function to apply template. apply template here, 167. I want to hide that one. I don't want people to use that one. Um, the other thing was I wanted to gray out my statistics. So again, I want to bring up um, my screen and select the customer statistics and makes it view in here. So at this case, I'm only hiding a single action and I'm making one gray out in here. As I now go back to my list of customers, I can see my apply template disappeared, my statistics grayed out, and um, I didn't hide my fields, uh, but I'll go back and do that one in here. Again, by the objects, look at the details, and go down and add uh, my fields. I want to add my credit limit and my balance local currency in here. As I only did the lookup, I couldn't add multiple fields. I would have to use the functions up there. So go select the credit limit also, and I will hide those ones in here. So now I've done all the things I wanted, so I can go back, look at my customer now. My credit limit and balance is gone, and my um, items here are working as I wanted it. If I look at some of these things in here, I actually have uh, multiple places where I can go uh, from here. Some of them show different tables, uh, but some of them are actually showing the customer in here. One of the 
good ways of actually finding out that one, what page you're on, is using this function here about this page. It both tells you the page number and it will tell you the source table you're actually using in here. I grayed out my statistics button. I'm actually going to put that back again, but then I actually want to use the hiding of the page itself instead in here. So uh, let's go back and change this. So I can delete my uh, button that I actually made for view in here. So I delete that one. And then um, I will get my action back again. I could also then go in and say my customer statistics, the page itself, I actually want to hide that one in here. So whatever way the user get to that page, as you will see, I get an error now when I actually click on the button in here. So it's of course grayed out on the list, but I can also, as I click statistics in here, it just tells me I am not allowed to see that page in here. And I can get to it any way I want. I go to get that uh, error in here. This one has been kind of getting to uh, use it for limiting access to people. It can actually also be able to simplify information in here. So if I have a sales order right now, there's actually quite a lot of fields on it. I have a lot of information in the cell too. I have a lot of um, fields in the line also. Um, and uh, I will have many fields on the invoicing tab and other places in here. I want to create a setup to really simplify this one for the user in here. So again, I want to create some field level security codes. I want to use it for my sales header first. And I create a simple one in here. Um, just to be sure it's always good to copy that one. So in general, it makes everything view in here. Then I'm going to open up for the pages that they actually can use in here. And I will edit that page and go look at the details. Every field in here, I will hide by default. There's no reason they can see anything in here. Same thing, I go into hide every action by default in here. I'll then select the field so they can see. They can see the document number, sell to, ship to, Sell to name, sell to address. Some ship to information down here. And I also want the same for sell to in here. So they can see that one. Most of the other things really didn't matter, uh, except maybe I want to show the location for them. And, and that would basically be what this user would need in here. So I'll add all these fields and I'll leave them editable in here, at least some of them. I'll say, nah, they're not going to create anything, they're only to going to view that. So I'll just allow them to change the ship to information and let rest of it actually be view in here. The ship to is fine. My actions, again, I'm hiding all of them. So I wanna also add the actions that the user can see. They can, um, see my comments. They can go look at the shipments for this one and they can do the post and print and maybe also uh, release the document in here. Also want to do the reopen. But the reopen, I actually going to gray that out for people down here. So I'm only going to let them see that there's a reopen. They can't really do it in here. So with these few changes in here for my header, I have now a very simple page in here. 
Again, I have to go apply it to my user. And I'm just doing for the default one, so I'm going to change my read only here to my simple instead in here. So as I now open my sales order, I have a few fields on my general tab. Most of the other things are gone. And I have a few editable fields on my shipping tab in here. I also want to do the same for the lines. And it's actually a different page in here. And the trick is normally you can do this help about this page. But it will actually give you the header. If you hit Control, Alt, and F1, it actually gives you the details on the level you add in here. And I can now see that it's a sales line table 37, and it's a subform 46 in here. So I want to go do the same trick about simplification in here, but for the sales line in here. So I'll have a 37, I'll have a simple. Again, that's fine. Let's copy everything. Then I want to select my page. And you can see all of them have the same caption. So that's why it's uh, the best way of figuring out which one it is, is by using that function in there. Again, I want to look at the details. Every field in here, I want to hide it. And the same thing as before, I'm going to hide every action also in here. So simplifying everything. Then I will add the few fields that I want the user to see. It will be the type, the number, the description, the quantity, quantity to ship, and outstanding quantity. And quantity shipped in here. All these fields I want to add in here. But again, I actually want to make most of them uh, read only, so the user can only see them. Again, for my actions, I maybe want to allow people to actually um, write comments on the lines in here. So I go into add my comment, and I go into leave it editable in here. So again, I'm now done my field level security code, and I'll go here and apply it again. Blank user, the table I want. Instead of the default, I'm going to use my simple in here. So now my sales order, without any manual customization, has actually been made very, very simple and very secure also. I have a few actions left up here. Um, if I look at the lines, type, number, description, quantity, all these other fields are read-only. The users can't change it. They can only change my quantity to ship and nothing else in here. So simplification of the application is very, very good uh, with using the field level security also in here. You don't need an extra object or anything. All you need to do is just hide the fields you don't want and only show uh, the few that the users should see in here. But that's basically um, how you can use this one. And it's always um, independent of the regular NAV security. So you can control even super users with this level. And each company will have its own user security setup. So you can also have different setups uh, by company at that time.